What's going on my G's? Ben McCauley here and today we're going to do a beat breakdown of this dark Amar piano beat. This juicy rave bang it. Anyways, listen. <laughs> Sick. So as usual, I'm going to walk you through my process and hopefully you can pick up one of the things you can use in your old beat. Also, all of the drums and log drum presets I use in this beat are available in my Ama Piano Essentials kit. I'm going to leave a link here so you can go check that out real quick. All right, so let's start with the drums. So I do have my drums split into a couple of different patterns. That's my usual way of making beats. So in the first pattern, we just have the kick. I like the groove that the kick itself has. And then in the next pattern, <laughs> that's where I have this weird conga loop. What I'm doing is actually very simple. I have this conga sound, but I'm playing different octaves of the conga sound. And as you can see, I've also randomized the velocity to create that groove, all right? So. Mad. But it's also something I'm doing here. Let's go over to the sampler real quick. So if you look at the envelope, you see that I've set the attack to 5% so that there's that initial glide into the sound. So we get that. If I turn off the envelope, you're going to hear the difference. I mean, it's nice, but it's not dramatic enough. But, you know, with the envelope on. Nah, it's crazy. And then I've also used half time to alter the sound a little bit without half time. You know, with half time. Very, very sick. Just doing some cuts on the low and the highs and then just boosted around 3K to just retain a sharp sound, basically. You know, basic stuff. And then I finished it up with a bit of reverb and delay. Very, very sick. And then on the next pattern, I've created another drum loop. Let's listen to that loop alone first and then. Right? Mm. Mad. And you can also hear that there's a bit of swing to the drum rhythm. That's because I've set the main swing to about 19%. That's very, very dope. And then on the last pattern, we have this. Snare. Uh. Bro, very, very dope. And like I said, you can find all of this sound in the Benny Macaulay and my piano essentials kit, right? Go cop it. And then I added this percussion hit. Right? Come on. <laughs> and then this tambourine. Mad. And then the ice crash that we all love. Right? And then the ghost cricket FX loop. That was mad. And I also added a bit of reverb and delay to that as well, just to make the sound bigger, you know. You know, and then shakers. And that's all for the drums, basically. Now, for the melodies, I actually started with a bass. That's this bass right here. Right, if you're watching in my breakdown, you know what bass this is. This is Liquid State Gull 2, uh, one of my favorite bass for my piano. You can find this in Hamlet's. It's very, very dope. And then I added this part. It's very, very subtle, but very effective as well. This is from Poise Zone. It's called Serenity, right? And then I added this part. Mad. This one is also from Poison as well. Warm Galaxy. There's a lot of dope sound for my piano in this Poison VST, by the way. And then I added this sound. This is also from Poison.
you know. This is called the trans organ. By the four, this is what it sounds like. It sounds very good, but I increased the release time to almost the max so that the sound can ring out a little longer, like this. Right? And this is a very simple process. Actually, if you want any sound to ring out longer when you're making your beat, just go to the amplifier and increase the release time. And this is very important for my piano. There's a lot of on piano sounds that needs to ring out. Okay, so that's something to think about. Right, and I also added some reverb and delay as well, just to again, make the sound bigger. So basically this is everything I've done for the verse. Let's go over to the hook. Now for this part, I added this sound. This is actually one of my favorite sounds in my piano. It's very, very dope. This is called Scanner. You can find this in Harmless. Right, very, very dope. And then I added the sound, Art of Voice. Right, this one is inside Hammer. And then I added the log drum. Mad. Very, very simple stuff. Again, you can find all of these log drum presets in my Benny Macaulay Essentials and my piano kit. All right. And then let's go over to the next side of the hook. I actually like to split my hook into two parts. So the first part is where it's like, it's crazy, but it's calm. And then the second part, it gets really, really, really crazy. Now for this part, I switched up the log drum a little bit. Right? Yeah. Very, very dope. I'm using a different log drum preset. As a matter of fact, I've combined two log drum presets with a sign bass to create that sound. So the first log drum preset I'm using is the anger logs, right? For that, that you're hearing at the top. <laughs> and then I have this med log. Very, very soft, but you know, it sounds very, very good. And then I'm using the sign bass to fill up the low end basically, and together, this is what everything sounds like. It's not composite that you layer your log drums like this, you understand? But sometimes you can create something very, very unique. And also when you layer your log drums, you have to think about how each of them are going to relate with each other, which means if you layer two log drums that are very bass heavy, for example, uh, you just mess up the record, right? You don't want that. Uh. Uh. Bro, imagine this in a club. It will bang. Do you understand? Like this will bang, bang. All right. <laughs> and then I added the Diablo TE synth bass. Right. Everybody already knew where to find this bass. But in case you don't know, this is Diablo CE from GMS. Very, very sick bass. Very popular on piano bass. Mm. And then what else we have here? Mm. Oh, this is another log drum that I added to sort of layer, but I changed my mind. That's it. I think it works together. Do you understand? So I muted that for that reason. And that's it. That's the whole beat basically. For the arrangement, it's very, very straightforward, right? I just have this shaker, this weird conga loop, and my snare, and then the pads. You know, and then goes into the verse. Again, 
again, this is dance focused. So you're not doing too much, right? You just want to go straight to the dance. And that's why the verse is very, very short. Into the hook. Let's go. Uh. I think I added one more sound here. This part. This one is also from Poison. Yeah, this one is also from Poison. This is called Band of Saturn. All right. <laughs> Mad. Oh, we this properly. And then I'm doing a little breakdown after the hook. Just to like cool things down a little bit. You know, take a break. Right? Uh. 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 Right. I didn't mention these ones, but yeah, I added uh, some rows here just to transition from the break into the verse again. And the outro is quite simple as well. Right? Uh. Mad and very, very simple. This will definitely bang in any rave. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm gonna play the full beat at the end of the video so you can listen to it. And let me know in the comment section below who you hear on this beat, all right? Again, all of the sounds I've used for this beat are available in the Ben Macaulay and my Piano Essentials kit, all right? Go and copy it. But that's going to be for now. I hope you got something from this. If you did, make sure you leave me a like and subscribe if you've not. And by the way, we just hit 4,000 subscribers, man. <laughs> that's amazing. Shout out to everybody subscribing and I hope you are getting some good value from this channel, right? I'm doing my best to make these videos, man. Because bro, combining real life work and YouTube is like a lot of work. This month alone, I have to mix an 11 track album in Dolby Atmos, another eight track EP in stereo, four other singles, one other song in stereo and Dolby Atmos. So, you know, and I don't have anybody editing for me. I can't afford an editor at this point, <laughs> right? But yeah, man, I hope you're getting something from this. And if you do as usual, always give me that thumbs up, all right? And if you want to book my services for mixing and mastering in stereo and Dolby Atmos, I'm going to leave a link below to the engineer's page so you can book me or you can hit me up on Instagram at Ben Macaulay DB okay and if you're a logic pro user and you want to record yourself i have a free logic pro recording template with a free afrobeat preset in it okay all stock plugins too so you don't need anything else right and i'm also going to leave a link below where you can buy my custom vocal preset and matching preset bro these presets are the bar they're very very sick so yeah man that's going to be it for now i shall see you on the next one benny mccauley out <laughs>